welcome back to my film and TV channel. You know, all stay safe and well. And we've got a, an MCU film here that sort of snuck out, and uh, I had seen it uh, advertising. Didn't really know too much about it. I don't even remember reading about it in my uh, uh, film magazines. In fairness, but uh, I'll have a look at um, the, another superhero film featuring the Marvel Comics character of the same name as the film. I'm going to have a look at Madam Web. Please, if you're new to your channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notification. Please, guys, if you can, give us a like as well at the same time. Be much appreciated. Uh, film reviews like this, information, vlogs, uh, series reviews, lots of different things on the channel. And let us know your thoughts on Madam Web or anything to do with film and TV. And, of course, uh, if you look through the site, there will be stuff on my football team, Manchester City as well. So if you've any interest in that, uh, please uh have a look at that or if you know somebody who might be interested please uh, give them a kick in my direction i'll be very grateful just under two hours this one and it's the fourth film in sony's spider-man universe yeah directed by sj clarks and stars a very investable yes i do like the lead cuts i do like dakota johnson i must admit she's uh, she's in the title role in this uh, shame about the the pace and the, and the plot really of this film also stars sydney sweeney isabella Merkid, celeste o'connor tahar rahim mike epps emma roberts and adam scott and it's basically an origin story of who Madam Webb is. And of course, uh, Cassie, who's the, who's the lady, confronts her past in this. And then obviously finds herself trying to save three young women, played by Sweeney, Merkud and O'Connor, from uh, Raheem's character, Eskiel Sims, who wants to kill them yeah, before before they become spider woman in the future and kill him. Yeah, you know, so we've got lots of different spider women in this one. It's as simple as that, really. That's all the plot is. <laughs> it's just... Uh, uh, yeah, very simple, very simple plot, uh, not very deep at all. It was released in the US on February the 14th. I'm recording this on March the 16th, 2024, when I've had a chance to watch it. So all these scores and comments, uh, pretty pathetic scores and comments are at that date. Rotten Tomatoes, 232 critics. 12% 12, 12 of them were positive, and it's got a pretty pathetic score of 3.4 out of 10. The consensus reads that's 29 fresh, 203 rotten. Very rarely see that for an MCU, even, even if people don't like it. The website's consensus, Madam Webb's earnest approach to the title character's origin story has a certain appeal, but its predictable plot and uneven execution make for a forgettable superhero adventure. I would totally agree. Metacritic, they only give it 26 out of 100, so slightly better based on 51 critics. What about the audience? Well... The Rotten Tomatoes audience aren't as down as the critics, 57% positivity, so that's that's okay, that's fine, 3.3 out of 5, so not a total disaster. And they say Madam Web isn't a groundbreaking superhero movie, but it does a decent job of telling an entertaining origin story. Yeah, probably could have been covered in 20 minutes, so that was the problem. Internet Movie Database, the other thing we look at, again, a low, low, low score. 35,000 scores and reviews, and it's just averaging 3.7 out of 10, so... Not very good. And that'll bring me to my little thoughts. I won't take long on this one, guys. I don't want to waste too much of your time. It just takes an age to develop a story to a sort of watchable level. And even when it gets to that level, it isn't very good. The premonitions, of course, uh, of course, Madam Webb has this ability to see into the future. The premonitions are a big part of our hero's powers uh, become all a little bit routine. And the best bits are in the premonitions. And then obviously not fulfilling the premonition is a little bit boring in fairness it's, it's just not as good and the baddie the big baddie in this the guy the guy who wants to kill these young ladies uh, just lacks any real character darkness uh, any depth so a little bit disappointing but for me a bit of a letdown i'm not the biggest fan of some of mcu stuff at least at least there's no alternate universe in this at least it's a simple story but the trouble is it's probably probably too simple for what it is so, yes, I would be rotten on Rotten Tomatoes. I would be negative on Metacritic. And I can't give this a score, in fact. I can't give it a five, uh, so I'll just have to not give it a score. So I'll leave it at that. Let me know what you think, guys. As I say, some of the public seem to like it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it could, you know, if, if this was a, a comic book I was reading, I would have been a little bit disappointed with the story for this one. But there you go. Let me know what you think, guys. Great to hear from you. So we meet again. That's one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, everyone. Bye for now.